Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. I've mentioned to you before about how salt, and specifically sea salt, is a powerful enzyme activator. So today I wanted to explain for you exactly how this happens. Unrefined sea salt contains more than 80 minerals and elements, and you need every one of these to function properly. By contrast, refined sea salt, or worse, table salt, is primarily sodium and chloride, with other unnecessary additives like anti-caking agents and even refined sugars like dexatrose. So let's examine how salt affects the body's pH and how an impaired pH negatively affects the body. Our body's pH balance is a measure of acidity to alkalinity. When the body becomes either too acidic or even too alkaline, which is entirely dependent on what foods we're regularly eating, normal physiological functions are impaired, particularly the efficiency of organs like the kidneys, brain, and liver. Enzymes, both supplemental and our body's natural metabolic enzymes, are extremely sensitive to changes in pH. You can think of optimal pH, then, as quite literally a fuel source for enzyme activity. This means that replenishing your body's stores of vital minerals ideally through regular consumption of unrefined sea salt, is the best and most direct way to optimize enzyme activity. When the body's pH is altered, either too high or too low, enzymes lose a majority of their function. It's already well known that an acidic pH is associated with many chronic illnesses, including candida, osteoporosis, hormone imbalances, and even cancer but even an overtly alkaline diet is highly problematic. So how does our diet fit into this? Heavily refined and processed food, stripped of all its healthy constituents like vitamins, minerals, and enzymes, and often preserved and flavored with an abundance of refined sugar, is obviously highly acidic. Regular ingestion of minerals is the best way to balance this excessive acidity, and the easiest way to regularly ingest minerals is to eat more unrefined sea salt. When we eat processed food, this is extremely taxing to the body's stores of minerals and, of course, normal enzyme activity. If left unaddressed, this alone can lead, over time, to systemic nutrient deficiencies and chronic illness. How does this happen? When the blood becomes too acidic, the body takes some of the alkaline-forming elements from enzymes in the small intestine to stay balanced. The small intestine then becomes too acidic to digest foods optimally, and the pancreas, gallbladder, and liver are all forced to compensate for this deficiency. The overall result is an impaired immune response, fatigue, malabsorption, hormone imbalances, and countless digestive problems. So let's look at a few other areas of the body that suffer when the pH is too acidic. The bones begin to leach calcium, which is one of our most alkaline minerals, and also insulin increases, which means fat is being stored, not metabolized. This actually mimics malnutrition or starvation. As a natural precaution, insulin is overproduced so that all available calories are stored for future use, and this alone can make weight loss extremely difficult. Adequate water intake is certainly part of this too. I've said for many years that water is largely useless without minerals, so in this way you can think of water and unrefined sea salt as natural companions, because both are required for the proper functioning of the immune and nervous systems, along with overall metabolism and detoxification. All of these processes involve countless metabolic enzymes, and again, these enzymes are fueled and optimized by adequate mineral intake. So what happens at the cellular level when there is inadequate water and salt? When the body's cells produce waste material, this refuse is discharged by the kidneys. However, when there is a lack of water and salt, this process is impaired, which leads eventually to cell death and kidney damage. Consuming refined salt, which again is just sodium and chloride, will not resolve this issue, as the sodium actually contributes to cellular dehydration. And when this happens, merely drinking water won't help at all, because the cell needs all those other minerals that unrefined sea salt provides. As the cellular dehydration continues, waste material accumulates in the cell, leading to acidosis, or the overproduction of acid. This does not happen if you're regularly consuming unrefined sea salt. All the body's functions require water and salt intake to maintain optimal performance. 
So how can you incorporate salt into your daily life? First, make sure the salt you're using is unrefined sea salt. You can usually easily distinguish it from refined salt because refined salt is often a pure white color, whereas unrefined salt likely has a natural tint to it. Because salt optimizes the body's electrical activity, consuming unrefined salt regularly will improve your energy and concentration throughout the day. If you exercise regularly, try taking a teaspoon of unrefined sea salt in water just before hitting the gym. You won't believe how it improves your performance and endurance. Also, if you're already taking supplemental digestive and or therapeutic enzymes regularly, regular salt intake also improves their function, so you'll likely notice that your digestion gets even better. Lastly, don't worry too much about salt raising blood pressure, because here's the truth. As long as you are consuming plenty of water, the kidneys can easily transport excess sodium into the urine. Salt is your friend, not your enemy. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.